We've created our drum track, bass track, keys track, and we've made MIDI adjustments in all three tracks. Now I'd like to jump back to the drums and add some drum fills. So we'll go to the grooves section and we're in our In The Flow song. Now I already have these fills picked out. Notice that I starred them. So this is a really nice way to stay organized on fills that you like that you might use later. And all I'm gonna do for fill number one is drag this fill to the end of the first intro. Now I don't want that long of a fill. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and I actually just want the very last quarter of the fill. If we start at measure five and I let it play through, this fill is too long. <music> I actually just want those toms at the very end. What I'm gonna do is trim it, so I'm only using the last quarter, and then I can adjust the rest of this MIDI block and it will retain what was there before. Now I have a really nice short fill. Next, I wanna do fill at the end of the second intro section, measure nine through 16. We'll use fill three here. Remember, you can audition them beforehand. like the very end of this one, so I'm gonna drag this in. I don't want the whole thing, I just want the last half of it. So we'll do the same type of concept. You're gonna see this repeated over and over where we just trim the fill however we want and then adjust the block before it so we fill up the rest of that space. <music> Verse, we'll use fill number four. Again, last half. And then for pre-chorus, fill number seven, also last half. That's a nice syncopated fill leading into the chorus. Let's scroll over here. For the chorus, we're gonna do fill number nine, last half, and then we'll do something interesting on this one. So let's take a listen. I'm gonna go back to measure 38. In the chorus, we're using a ride cymbal. However, this fill does not have ride cymbal. It is just hi-hat. We can quickly adjust this in the edit play style. All I need to do is take the power hand with the fill selected and move it over to the ride. And then I also want to use the bell articulation. Bell shank, I'm gonna turn up the velocity just a little bit so it jumps out. And that will be a nice syncopated fill transition using the bell of the ride cymbal to lead into our next verse. Right, for verse two, close out edit play style, and we're gonna use fill number 14, last half again. And an alternate way to do this, rather than move the fill over and then the groove over, I could just grab the groove and move that over, and that's gonna copy over that first half or that first portion of the fill. <laughs> Now for the pre-chorus, this is our second pre-chorus. I like how this ends. I just wanna do really, really short fill. I'm gonna use fill 15, but I wanna use the very beginning of it. If we audition it, I like the very beginning, so I'm going to just grab that first quarter, and then we'll move the first portion of that fill over. So you don't have to use the end of the fill. You can use any piece of any of the fills you want to cater to your track. Let's take a listen to what this sounds like at the end of the pre-chorus too. And that works really well. Finally, in our last chorus, we're going to use fill number 20, and we'll just use the last half again. Take a listen. We need to make that same edit play style adjustment. Go into the edit play style with the fill selected. Move the power hand. Select the articulation you want, which is going to be bell shank. And I want that boosted just a little bit. That's going to bump the velocity. Let's take a listen one more time. Now for the very end of the song, I'm not gonna put a fill in, but I'm actually going to edit this in the grid editor. Let's go ahead and take a listen as is. 
Now the bass ends on the and of four. We have one extra note here, so I'm going to remove that. And I want the drums to kind of fill into that end, so everything ends together. Now to do that, we're just gonna backtrack here. I want this to be a snare drum. I want the note right before it to be a bass drum. So I'm gonna move that there and I'm going to boost the velocity. And then I want two tom hits. So I'm gonna grab this note. We'll move this down to, we'll say floor tom two. This one, rack tom one or two. Either one will work fine, we'll do rack tom two. And then let's turn the velocity up just a little bit on the snare before it. So we basically get a really nice fill ending on a snare hit. Let's take a listen to that and then we'll make one more adjustment. That actually works really well. I want an open hi-hat though. I want the drummer to basically play snare drum and a quick open hi-hat that closes. So I'm going to add an open hi-hat note and I want a very specific one. So I'm going to open up the articulations in the grid editor and I want open four. Again, we need to be on the and. We'll make that nice and strong. And then I know I'm gonna need to add another note. I'm gonna need to close that hi-hat, otherwise it's just gonna keep ringing. So I'm gonna add a closed pedal, but just so you can hear what I'm talking about, let's take a listen. So that hi-hat will stay open. So what we need is to close it. And so we need a closed pedal articulation, and we'll just do that right on the very downbeat of measure 73, and that will close that hi-hat. Let's listen one more time. That works really nicely, although I think I want it to close just a bit sooner. I could move this over, and this is synced. We have snap to grid on. If I move that over, I think that's too short. So I'm getting picky here, but here's the beauty of it. You can adjust this MIDI to be exactly the way you want. I'm gonna turn snap off momentarily, and let's move this hi-hat closed pedal articulation right in between. So we're really going right in between the uh of the 16th note, 40 and uh, and the downbeat of measure 73. Let's listen to that. And to me, that is a nice balance. Not too long, not too short. That's how we're gonna end our drum part.